Okay guys, welcome back for this new vlog episode, it's number 8, clue 8. So that's a vlog that's uh, sharing with you uh, the clues of the Cozy Mystery Advent Mystery Car. It's a lot of mysteries, okay. And today I'm sharing with you uh, the colors I used. Oh my god, what is my light doing? It's flashing on me like this. Okay, so I'm sharing with you the colors that I used uh, to uh, knit the clue which were part of my Elven calendar. Uh, the inspirations behind the names I chose for the colors, like the books I chose, Cozy Mysteries, in the knitting subgenre. And I'm going to share with you the clue. Okay, so let's dive in. First color, I got to get back to my English version. That's needle to death. The first color, this one, it's a very gorgeous brown. Chocolate Hints Needled to Death. I love that title. Both books today are by Maggie Sefton, the one, the very one I'm reading currently. I'm reading um, book one in the series of Kelly Flynn. So Needled to Death, what is the... Okay, now that she's been knitting up a storm with the help of her new friends at House of Lampspun, Kelly Flynn can't imagine ever leaving Fort Connor, Colorado. That's a bit of a spoiler. But there's trouble in her adopted hometown and not just with her new sweater project. When Kelly volunteers to take a troop of tourists to visit Vicky Clymer's alpaca farm, she discovers Fort Connor isn't as sedate as it seems. Instead of a warm welcome, they find Vicky splayed out on her original hand-woven rug, her blood sipping it to the design. The police jump on the case, but Kelly can't resist doing a little investigation work on her, of her own. Even if it means taking a break from the sweater she's been knitting in the round. Because a murderer is lurking in Fort Connor, waiting for the right moment to strike again. And again, we have a serial killer on, her, on our hands. Again. Thanks for the light show guy, but uh, that's my light. I don't know what's happening. She is, it's flashing on me like this, like in a decent way. Um, have you seen the cover? Have you spotted the little, you know, uh, skull, yarn skull? Okay, she has the best colors. Anyway, second color, a killer stitch. That might be my favorite color of the whole shipping. A Killer Stitch. It's again by Maggie Sefton and since it's book four in the series. So when an alpaca ship, alpaca ship, what is that? What is an alpaca ship? <laughs> because when I read the French version, I read the translation of that mouton alpaga. It was like, what? <laughs> What is a mouton alpaga? It doesn't make any sense. Alpaca ship. It doesn't exist. Does it exist? It doesn't exist. It's two different breeds of different animals. Two different races of animals. It makes me think like you see people knitting on movies and they're like, like they are tossing the salad. Okay. <laughs> like turning the yarn around the needle. and It seems like it's one of them writing the synopsis of the book. So when an alpaca sheep rancher, if you know what it stands for and it's a true thing, a real thing, just please kindly let me know in the in the notes because right now it seems like complete BS. Again, so when an alpaca sheep rancher with a reputation as an unrepentant playboy turns up dead in Bellevue Canyon, ardent knitter and occasional sluice Kevin Kelly Flynn launches a personal investigation into the murder and discovers that among the ladies of Fort Connor. There are all too many suspects who may have had motive for killing the victim. Okay? Ooh. Naughty. I'm going to turn that down because making strange noise. That's done. Okay, so here are the two colors together. 
and the clue might be my favorite of the whole thing is this one so it's a, it's a great I love this clue because you see it's just stripes really you're just knitting stripes and just slipping stitches so that you have this lovely like wavy pattern but yeah I think it's gorgeous I love that stitch pattern so there you go mm, clue 8 hey starting to be quite big um yeah can't wait to show you the rest so we are again i will be filming clue nine just after this one but uh, i'll see you guys on the 18th that's next monday 